Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back from Germany. I'm back from LCQ from the last chance qualifier and I had one heck of a trip and I'm going to show you guys everything that happened. So I'm going to be showing you guys our two most important matches. Today's video is going to be versus Luminosity Gaming and day two is going to be day two of LCQ versus ECP. Now both matches were very intense and it's kind of like a beef match in a way with both teams. So there was a lot on the line outside of just making worlds and it was fantastic. So let's hop right into the LG match and get this started. All right. So getting into the first game, my team has Lou the crab lobster name i forgot his name already and Stu, and their team has gail meg and ruffs the dog now their comp is insane like they have one of the you know craziest comps we knew we wanted Stu going into this and i did really well on lou every scrim so we decided that we wanted to have lou and Stu. but what we never faced a single time is a dog so first pick we got the crab then we got lou Stu, and all three of these brawlers get absolutely hard countered by the dog I mean, Drage takes literally two shots for each bag, and Charles has four sets of three bags. So there's just nothing the crab can do versus roughs. I'm doing my thing on the left side over here. I'm doing my best, but again, this dog is just going absolutely nuts, and he's double powered up. So they have a pretty insane outdraft. Apache is a really good drafter. Same with, you know, the help with the help of, you know, Chino and Charles. Like, they're just insane. So um, this set is not looking too good. Hot zone set one is always one that i like because hot zone's one of my favorite modes but so far not so good we could still easily win this game i have well i don't know about easily but i have my hyper charge so i'm trying to move up and make a play drage finally gets level two with the crab stage two whatever you want to call it but they're already triple powered up and they almost have 100 percent. so at this point of the game this is our second match we just barely beat china the match before you guys can see i'm standing still i literally put my ipad or whatever samsung device i I'm playing on down and I start like kind of cussing out my team on stage. I'm like, guys, we are so good. What are we doing? Like switch lanes, play proper. Let, let's do this. Like what's wrong with you guys? And so going into game two, we have a little bit more strategy. So we start switching lanes straight away. We put Drage on Chino because he can get his next stage a lot faster on the Meg than on the dog. Obviously dog has good matchups into myself and Angel Boy as well. But you were, it's just something we're going to have to deal with because we need, really need those crab, lobster, whatever brawler it is levels if we want to win this game. Me and Angel Boy with a really nice pinch over there and we get the kill and then Drage gets a lot of value on the crab against Chino with the Meg. And he already has stage two really early on in this game. I have super, we have control, like things are looking really good. We switch Drage off of the dog and we just super the Meg because like why wouldn't we just super the Meg and get him out of there? um angel boy is doing a really good job controlling the zone patchy gets a kill and i'm just trying to hold down the zone do the best i can charles is hitting some shots on the dog but they're not really getting much positioning out of it i finally do move out of the way angel boy respawns and we kind of reset you know i get like some speed he brings some speed i heal up and we come back in you know i'm not too far off of my loose super angel boy pushes the mech really far back really well and then drage comes from behind and gets level three so Right there, it was a really good start by us to kind of use the speed turret to switch Drage off of the dog. That was like our high IQ strategy to kind of like change what happened in game one. And there we go. Beautifully done. We have the lanes. I'm hitting Patchy a lot. We get the freeze. I get the kill. Angel Boy's doing his thing down low. And this is exactly what we need. Like not everything in Brawl Stars is just like if you can hit more shots or like juke more. Like that's... That's not even majority of it. Majority of it is using your head, playing things properly. And even though they have like one of the best drafts I've seen in a while on land, we could still win because we can outskill the other team. And that's just what we're trying to do right here. So Drage is doing a really good job on the crab. We get a nice little kill on the dog over there. And again, beautiful pinch by all three of us. We get that kill. Meg in the middle, but we're taking our time. We know we have the level three crab, so there's no rush. You know, we don't have to do anything crazy. I chuck my loose super down. We get a nice easy kill on Patchy. Angel Boy gets a kill on Chino. And that's basically game right there. We already have like 90%. So we're just finishing up the zone over here. As you guys can see, they're jumping in. They're doing their very best. But unfortunately, there's just nothing that they could do. We walk in the zone and that is going to be game number two. Now, obviously, we made the adjustment to get the crab off of the dog. So their adjustment is going to be get the dog on the crab. So we need to somehow figure out a way to do this where we get Drage his levels because once he gets level three, 
we're fine. But getting that first few levels, it's pretty difficult to actually do that. So we put the speed turret down. We have the dog on Stu, so it's kind of a perfect start. I'm telling Dre's just go mid, like just go get some levels or something. And he's doing his best, but the dog is switching on to him pretty fast. Um, we start breaking some bags as fast as we can. I get my loose super already, and that's a pretty bad loose super to be honest. I definitely should have thrown it on the zone, but we do snipe Patchy anyways. And Dre just still looking for some hits. He was able to get a second hit over there. You guys can see Charles is going super aggressive, trying to get right beside Drage and just like not let him get a hit. But Angel Boy is doing insane on the top. I'm, you know, putting in some work on the bottom. But at the same time, like LG just got 43% zone time and we only have five. So even though we're kind of spreading out and doing our thing, it's not really working out for us. Meanwhile, though, Drage makes an insane play and he pops his gadget, which gives him more supercharge. And he gets level 3 basically purely off of Patchy right there with good timing. He comes from behind with a super. I got, you know, the loose super on the ground. And all of a sudden, we have 15%. They have 60 But we have Lou hypercharge and a level 3 crab. And it's like, okay, it's time to do some business. I know it's a lobster, by the way, but I like calling it the crab. So I hypercharge Patchy just to kind of get him out of the way. Again, pretty bad hypercharge, but I do end up clipping Chino, so it doesn't matter because I cycle my super and I get him into small form. And Charles is doing really good work this game. Really amazing play right there by Angel Boy to stay alive, get some zone time and get a kill. But Charles is out of bags and you guys know how important the bags are to this game. So we get the freeze on Chino, which gets him out of mech. And when he's in that little form, he's not really a threat to us. Now, it's kind of weird for me because I can't step in the zone without getting hit. So I'm kind of feeding him. And over here, I kind of thought we lost, to be honest. But then Angel Boy just completely glides around the entire zone. You can see Patchy's on fire. He sets Charles on fire. Like, everyone just all of a sudden dies. So even though I fed the Meg right there, Angel Boy and Drage both make an insane play. And here, I'm like, no one can die. No one can die. Take our time. So I get really nice shots over there on Chino and get my hypercharge. We get him out of the mech. And I'm just saying, don't die. Don't rush. Because we have a little mech. They have no dog bags. There's like nothing they could do. So Dre just prioritizing staying alive, doing a really good job hiding behind the wall. Angel Boy gliding around and right there. Perfect game for us. Like I, that was amazing. That was like one of the best sets or maybe even the best set we played in this entire tournament because they by far had the better comp and we just, we just played better. As simple as that. We just played that set better. We got our win and that was really, that was really great as a team to feel that even if things don't go your way in the draft, we could still win. So let's move on to set two and show you guys what happens. So going into our next set, we have Brawl Ball, which is LG's favorite mode. I mean, they absolutely destroy us when we play LG versus STMN, usually at home with my normal team. Um, they're just really good at Brawl Ball. They got really good IQ. So they went Rosa, Ems, and Larry. Now, Frank was really good in the meta, and we were going to give them Frank first pick. But we realized we can't do that because there's just no way of really countering a Frank properly. And we knew that they knew what to ban. So we banned the Frank, which made them first pick Rosa. And then, you know, I said the rest of their comp. And then we have Chester and Meg as like our anti-tanks. And they have, uh, or sorry. And then we have Primo to kind of match the Rosa. Now, I don't love the Primo pick. It's not like what I would prefer to play, but at the same time, it's a really nice brawler. You guys can see Charles just wasted his knockback over there, which is like a horrible play. You can't really waste your knockback on a little Meg. I get my jump, and I use the speed star power. Semantic, if you're watching this, that's why I use speed. I literally just use my speed to walk in front of Chino and score the goal. So that's a really nice play by me. I'm not trying to like, you know, toot my own horn there, but... Primo's a pretty hard brawler. It's literally just goal scoring. You guys can see Chino pops his hypercharge, wa walks in a straight line, gets the goal on us. And at this point, we're kind of just like trading supers, trading hypercharges. Angel Boy and Drage are both doing a fantastic job at just holding it down on their lanes, doing their thing. I see Patchy use his gadget, which is kind of a waste of a gadget. So I pop my hypercharge and I go for him. I get my next jump. I jump on Chino and I'm able to get the kill. Really good play by my teammates to get that kill. And then I juke one shot so that I gain enough HP so to where, you know, Patchy on Larry can't kill me. And I just walk in a straight line and I put that ball in the net. So at this point, you know, as I said in the last set, strategies always change. And they didn't have a really good start. They used two Rosa slows for basically no positioning. So this game, they're going to try something different where they definitely get a little bit more aggressive. We loaded into this a little bit late, but you guys can see there's already a super on the ground. They already have positioning. Like they just tripled the right lane and just walked in a straight line and that was a really good idea by them because i didn't get any hits drage is in small form which is useless he can't do anything he just ran, runs up and dies 
Which might look like a silly play, but it's honestly the right play. Angel Boy gets the... I, f I don't even know what that super is. A smoke super. I get knocked back. And I can't jump on Charles because he's right in front of our net walls. And I don't want to break our walls. That would be a horrible decision. So good team play by my team. Just kind of clearing the ball. I definitely should have used my jump before this. Because I just kind of like threw Charles. Or I jumped on Charles and it pushed him into a wall. Which is not where you want to put him. And then I threw him. So that was like a really bad primo play by me to be honest. But like I'm just playing primo. I don't know. I was just clicking the buttons and it didn't work out. So Chino used another slow. I'm going to use my jump to kill Charles who had his hypercharge. And then I go down. But I get my hypercharge and my super. Primo isn't a brawler where you're like getting kills and then getting out. Once you decide, especially in pro play, that you're going in, you're very typically not going to get out of that situation. So Drage is able to get a really nice kill over there. He gets a second one as well. And then I jump on Charles. He wastes a knockback, but I position myself well. And I don't know what that play was by me. To be honest, I definitely could have walked it in. So that was probably like a heat check on my end, if you guys know what a heat check is. But uh, pretty bad plays by me this game, to be honest. I could have stopped the goal, and I didn't. And then I could have scored over there, but I also didn't. So that's pretty unfortunate for me. Charles uses his super. I get a good amount of hits there, so I'm not too mad about that super because I know I'm very close to another one. And I'm trying to use it. I just can't find any good time to use it or get close to anyone where I could just auto aim. Angel Boy gets a kill, but there's only 30 seconds left right now. So I need to make a play, which is possible. We have Drage and Big Mech coming up. We have me with the jump. So I just I just go for it. Like I just jump and I just see what happens. I get my super, but then I walk back into a Larry shot. Like I really think if I didn't walk back into that Larry shot, we probably could have made a play because M's I don't think has any knockbacks. We had Big Mech. Like that was just not a good game for me. And then I go up and kill Charles because like I want to kill Charles. But yeah, that was like a horrible game for me. And to be honest, I feel like I definitely made the difference in why we lost that game because I could have scored, I could have stopped the goal, and I didn't either. That, you know, is on me. And then I knew that. So we go into game three and I'm trying to like change up our strategy a little bit. I'm telling Drage go a little bit more forward, like go be a little bit more aggressive when you're bush checking so we can see where they are higher up in the bush. And then I'm saying to Angel Boy, just don't die. And so that's kind of what we're doing here. They triple a lane again, but this time they go left. They get us weak, but they don't actually get the kill. But I mean, things like it's not looking good. I wasn't able to just like run down a side and they have really good vision on me right now. So I can't really do anything. I get a hit or two, but it's like not changing anything. Charles going for a goal, but he's not able to get it. Chino's going aggro like this is just not working out for us. And again, it's that 3v1 defense. I go for the jump. I go for the play. I clear the ball and I, I think I get my super back or I almost get it back. But unfortunately, the respawn timer, you know, just wasn't fast enough. So they score a goal. And then for whatever reason, I decide to jump in a straight line. And I don't, I don't know what's gotten into me, to be honest. Like, I play a pretty good primo. And I don't normally get too nervous on the land. But I'm playing it pretty bad here. Chino goes for my ankles over there. I don't know if that was necessarily the right play. But I stopped it. I'm pretty proud of myself for stopping it. And then I use my jump here again. Like, I got two knockbacks. So I guess that's probably why I used my jump because I knew I was going to get that. But just not the greatest play. I don't know. I'm not doing the very best right now. I have my hypercharge. They're in a really good position. And I mean, it's just not looking so good. The only thing we have going for us is that Charles doesn't have any knockbacks. Chino uses his super and kills our angel boy. So I thought we lost right there. But then for some reason, like they just mess up their communication, their timing. They just they messed up something. And I was like, all right. So I pick up the ball, I pop my hypercharge, I walk in a straight line, and all of a sudden it's 1-1. And now we're in a position where they have no positioning, M's has no gadgets, and things are looking good. So I know I want to target the M's because there's nothing the M's could do for me. So I see the M's moving up, and I just jump for it. Like, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I really don't know what I'm doing. Keep in mind, we're not playing on iPads, and that's going to be my excuse for today, um, that we're playing on devices that I'm not used to playing on. But that does not affect your decision-making. Like, I really have no idea what I'm doing over here with the Primo. I get past the ball, and I'm just going. I'm trying to score. I'm doing my best, but unfortunately, I'm not able to score. A really good play by Patchy and Charles to slow me down. And then here, like, we're respawning, and they have good positioning, but we have, what, 8,000 HP and then a little meg, a primo, a chester. So it was really easy to just kind of walk up and clear the ball. I was so close to scoring there. I was so close to making, like, the best play ever. 
and it just didn't happen and angel boy here 1v3 on defense he does a great job we have great communication of where we're gonna go and then i jump on charles and like i'm so close to killing him i get my jump again i try and get the ball but i don't end up killing charles and i don't get the ball so it's like throwing goals on our side throwing goals on their side like who even knows what's happening at this point but we have really good positioning and again we have a lot of hp they have no gadgets left and it's only a matter of time now chino has his hypercharge so he's going for a play that's about all he can do with his hypercharge but then i have mine so i walk in a straight line i'm so close to my super i get it i jump on two of them get two kills and after all those disaster classes we get the win and we sweep lg 2-0 now i was honestly pretty proud of that i mean i did like i like i didn't retire but i like quit the game for a month and to like quit the game for a month and then on two weeks notice come and beat a team that has had my number and has always beaten me um it felt good it felt really really good to do that on stage um i'm now undefeated versus lg on stage which, which is just fantastic but like that was that was just really fun that was definitely the highlight of my trip to germany was facing those guys i mean we're literally behind the stage before the game starts and me and my friend chino who i've known for so long we're just saying you know i we can't believe this is about to happen you know we can't believe we're on this stage facing each other we're, we're friends just like you guys have friends and to be on stage facing each other in front of thousands of people is just nuts so i mean it was an amazing opportunity obviously i'm a lot happier than they are because we at least with this match because we ended up winning and they didn't but that's just how it goes and i don't know i had a lot of fun respect to the other team of course who are my great friends and i wish them all the best at world so that's going to be it for match number one i'll see you guys soon for game day number two match number two and boy that was a banger you do not want to miss that video so i'll see you guys again soon